the coronavirus has definitely changed all our lives these past few weeks. It's driven companies out of business, and even worse, people are staying at home, bored, tired, and watching YouTube to the point where YouTube crashed. But silver lining? It's at least made the origami community more active. Folks are rediscovering this passion of theirs, or have picked up a book to start learning. I've been putting more time into my modulars. This one's nowhere near done, but these are. Okay, that's enough. Stop. I said stop. No more viruses. <sighs> as you can tell, these things are multiplying without end. So as you're staying put and trying to not get infected, ah! Wow, that was close. Before I get infected though, let me show you how to make one of these from 30 square sheets of paper. Starting with a square sheet, fold into four equal parts. Then fold the bottom right corner up to the first crease and the top left corner down to the third crease. Now fold on creases one and three and bring the bottom left corner up and the top right corner down. Now comes the hard part. Tuck these corners into the flaps like this. Now for an even harder folding maneuver. Turn everything over. And finally, fold the corners in and mountain fold the entire thing in half. And after that, all you need to do is tell them to multiply like the coronavirus, and bam, you've got yourself 30 pieces. The 13 pieces of protein that will form the outer capsule of the pandemic-causing virus. Dun, dun, dun. These are called snow bee units, by the way. And to assemble, all you need to do is tuck this flap into this pocket. A corner has three units, and a face has five. Following this 3-5 rule all throughout the structure, you'll end up with this deadly thing. And if you make multiple, you can practice juggling, which I cannot do, or you can make something big to throw at people to keep them away. This will probably make the ultimate game of dodgeball. Okay, that was this basic modular origami model. If you want to see me mess with other origami models, well, like and subscribe. And if you have any origami ideas, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I gave you something to do during your stay at home. Stay safe and see you guys around.